Hey, this is Chad Johnson. I wanted to show you how to get your import done for making a CCAT guide. You'll notice on the back of your CEREC, you have a USB port and you can plug in a little flash drive into the back. We can just close this. I'm going to open CEREC. I'm going to hit pause while it's opening. So now I have my case opened up with a lower quadrant. And let's just say that we are trying to do tooth number 30. You have to uh, start making a restoration. And so if I go to administration, and I tell it tooth number 30, that we just want to do a crown, Bio individual is fine. Go to model, walk it forward through the steps, kind of get it in the right position. Okay. And we're going to propose a crown. For drawing the margin, you just need something. It really doesn't even need to be anything. Just, you know, put something on there, hit design. There's our proposal. And you have to go all the way to manufacture, or what used to be mill, before up here, you can go to export, and you want to save it as an SSI. And we also want to find the removable disc that this is going on. And so I'm just gonna, you know, even what I like doing is right here, marking it with their name or their initials or tooth number 30 is already on there, 30, right there, 30. Hit save. Now this restoration is saved and this restoration doesn't matter. It's an occlusal little onlay kind of thing, but we don't have to change the bite, anything. It's basically just a dummy tooth so we can get this whole arch or what I have here, just a quadrant to be able to um, go into the Galaxis software. So we have it saved. Now I'm going to pop out this disc and we go to my desktop computer. Now I'm going to plug this disc okay, sounds good. right there Bye. and now I have opened the Sedexa software and I'm going to find my name. Now I'm going to open the 3D software. And it's opening. Okay, now that we have my case open in Galaxa software, I'm going to go down to CAD CAM and uh, we need to make sure that I have the license turned on and then open the CAD CAM button there. On the screen we're going to find under hitting browse my file from the uh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to hit open. Now, it's going to say, wait a second, you have the wrong name uh, for that date of birth. Well, that's no big deal unless, you know, you don't have it correct. But we just put in the date that we did the scan, not my actual birthday. But the computer's going, wait a second, that's not right. You just hit next. It's going to side by side the panoramic view. And so we've got the side by side. I'm going to help it figure out which teeth. Now I only have a quadrant because I was being lazy and I was just using a case I already had open. 
uh, but I'm going to click on 31, 31, 30, 30, let's go 28, 28, and maybe 26. 26. You only need three spots, but I, I, you can see here I did four, you know, just to give it four spots to kind of line everything up. Do you need to do four? No. Then I'm going to go down to next. It's going to verify that we have the information lined up. So you're looking to see, okay, does it line up? Does it line up? Does it line up on this view as the least helpful? I'm going to hit confirm. Now it's going to register this data onto there. You can plan where to place implant number 30, which if I go to implant aligned, you can see where I have my extraction of tooth number 30 on myself planned. Where the implant is, you can move this around to your heart's delight. You can also go over to the implant button and change what your diameter is or what your length is. And as you do that, it makes it longer and wider or narrower or whatever. So you choose your implant, then you go down to surgery. You click here. And if you can do an OptiGuide because there's not enough metal artifact in the mouth to throw it off, you click OptiGuide and you walk through choose your sleeve system. I use the Strawman. Click next, click next, click next. You can look through those stuff later and I agree. Confirm and next and at that point uh, it's going to bill me and um, that's how you can get your surgical guide from the Cirrhic to the Galaxus to CCAT and at that point then it will open up um, It'll open it up a tab here. If you go to ccat.com, <clears throat> at the bottom right hand corner you'll see ccat file upload. If you click on that you can fill this information out, put any surgical information that you want such as I'm removing this tooth or there's going to be um, uh, a sinus bump performed you know, to let them know. Otherwise they'll be concerned about anatomy that you might not be concerned about or that you've already addressed. You click on choose file and you find that file uh, and upload it and I agree. And then you hit submit. That's all done from ccat.com slash file hyphen uploader. Hope that helps and uh, post any questions below.